This is the very basic design drawn up in Inkscape for this electric guitar. The bounding box is the cutting area I've got on my small 3040 CNC and the shape is just the guitar. This is the front side and then the back just doesn't have this cut out so that the neck can be glued in there. And that shows the back piece. So the body of the guitar is just made up of two pieces. This is the back. The one that had the yellow with the cutouts is on the front. So the neck just sits in that groove. Very simple, very easy shapes to do in Inkscape. Once these are designed in Inkscape, we save them as SVG files and open them up in a program called JS Cut to set up our tool paths for the CNC. This could be cut out by hand as well. This is just shelf grade pine from Ace Hardware. This is going to be used for the body of our electric guitar. That's our front body part. This is the beginning of our body here. Two pieces of pine, top and bottom piece. We've got a small channel for the pickup wires to go through. These will be glued up. Pickup sits in there. And the next thing we'll work on is our neck. We have our body, our two pieces glued together, and our neck cut out. So this will fit the first part of our neck. This will fit in here and we'll glue that down. And then start working on the head for the tuning pegs. building up the neck here a little bit. We've got another piece of pine underneath that first piece. Just slowly moving along here. I had a box of scrap teak pieces that I picked up at a consignment store and I never knew quite what to do with them. So I think I'm going to use this for the bridge for the guitar. These are just being used for spacers for the strings. These are actually four frets. That gives me an idea of the spacing. And we've got our spacing for the tuning, tuning pegs that we'll cut out next. For the head of the guitar we went in a different direction. Even after some careful measurements with this one we didn't have enough room for the tuning pegs. So it made a much bigger one. The guitar's got a lot of round shapes to it, so it made a round, a round head. This is also bent down ever so slightly, so we've got a little bit of bend to that as well. There's a really cool free Windows program to create your fret cuts, and it's called Fretboard. It's at Lobo CNC and it's a fantastic little program. Once you download it, you fill in the parameters you want for the frets and create your G-code. Once that's created, you can open it up in Mach or anything that's driving your CNC machine. Fantastic little program. So this is where we are right now on this unusual electric guitar build. We've got our new shape here and a little bit of an angle back. We've got a platform for our bridge. This is going to be super simple. We've got some all thread and some cable clamps here. I'm going to hold that there. We'll drill some holes in that hardwood. That's a gardening stake from the local hardware store. I picked up a bunch of these and they come, they come in really handy for different things. So when it is a hardwood, I don't know what kind, but it glues up pretty well. So we'll drill our holes, strings will go through there. For our nut, we're going to use some L, aluminum L channel. That's going to sit there. I'm going to get a smaller piece. We'll cut our grooves. And then with the fretboard program, we'll glue our 
our board down. And there are our frets, all cut out and ready to go. The next thing we need to do is to design that shape around it so we can cut the actual board out. We'll do that in Inkscape. The nut has been glued in. This is just a piece of flattened Schedule 40 PVC plumbing pipe. I use these things for a lot of different projects. Heat them up, flatten them down, and, and cut them. We've got our frets cut. Need to glue these in and then trim them up. I went with really thin ones. This is a very lightweight guitar. We have our frets on and all trimmed up. We're going real old school here. Just the pickup, straight out to the amp. Ace Hardware Store guitar, pine shelving material, made for about 40 bucks.